All right, mud lovers, how you doing? You find us in the middle of a field in Norwich, and this is all thanks to Sean over there, because he has got us some permission on a very interesting field. Part of the family, you know, so uh, not everyone can get here, but we made a start already, and uh, you can see there we've uh, broken ground and we've got some good bottles coming up. Yeah, we've got Mimi, got Kev over there somewhere else, so got a very interesting little site uh, for finding good old bottles and trinkets and anything left over by the Victorians, Edwardians, and that sort of thing. So, let's get some luck in the muck. Can't believe it. It's Queen Victoria, how you doing, Mel? <laughs> well, good old Shawno, you've uh, broken ground. First one to break ground, and look, he's, he's literally flipped over the topsoil on this little site here, and we've already got a couple of little bottles are sticking out. Stuff in the hole. You give it a little, uh, little shell there as well, look, that's unusual. Well, because uh, someone's lunch. Yeah, a nice little file. Cool. Oh, well, that's, they, this is proving good. Nice. Let's see what else we got. Tree amongst the top as well. Yeah, definitely potential. I'm going to cut another slice. <laughs> oh. Slice the cake. <laughs> see what treasures. The treasure hunting cake. Yeah. Do you know they seeded this, or do you think just, this is the grass? Um, it was nothing like oh, this you, before. You went so. for a bottle there. Yeah, I think I might have. <laughs> oh wow! Oh. Something just flew up here. That's a bone. Oh, old bone. Wow! Another little bowl there. Yeah, yeah. yeah a bit later, isn't it? Little yeah, screw that's a, top. That's a screw. Yeah. That's all right. It's a start. If, uh, yeah. Start of a hold. Nice. Well, we'll try and keep the turf nice if we can. Yeah. And then stack that up. Oh, look, there's one there. I oh, got marmalade. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, something there as well. Look. Oh, there we go. Saucy. Plain uh -huh. sauce. Screwy. So I think it's uh, slightly later, this. This top layer, anyway. But there might be a layer. Earlier beneath. That's marmalade though, that might yeah. be earlier. Ooh. Oh it is. Is it? Oh it's got it's got cicadas. Yeah, it's a Oh nice. Might all be there as well. Might all be there. Yeah. Might be glue back glue back of a bubble. It's a good first find. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah, it is in pieces. Yeah, but most of it's there. Dundee marmalade. <laughs> well, if there's one here, there might be more. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's a nice, uh, nice puzzle for it you to do. Certainly, you know those lonely nights in your, the camper, base there. in your camper bus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah, there you go. Pile it all up, all the bits. <laughs> <laughs> the treasure hunting puzzle. Oh no, my finger was there. The treasure hunting puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, lots of it. So what period would that be? Oh, 1900s. Yeah, just early, early hundreds. Yeah. So that's potential. That, it could be earlier. Sometimes they go back a little bit earlier. I mean, these ones were made for donkeys. You know, it was. They won their medal in like 18, 18 sort of 60s. Yeah. I think they won their medal, and they just they kept just it kept it on there for the whole period. Yeah. They were, they were yeah. Harking on about it for a long time. So maybe we'll put this one back together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, yeah. That'd be interesting anyway. If it's all there, it'd be good to do that as a project and just to have it. It will look cool. We could do it like that Japanese effect where That's they right. celebrate the crack. Yeah. We it. do like to celebrate the crack. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, uh. <laughs> oh yeah, well that's mine. You leave that. <laughs> I'll get, I'll get on that in a minute. You go find your own hole now.
something on it. Yeah. Corn, that's corn pretty cool. Corn or something. I don't know. It looks like it might be Coke, actually. Yeah. It's got that shape, doesn't it? Yeah. Let's go down the side. It'd be weird if you've got a 50s Coke next to a 1900s or underneath the marmalade. That's what I said to you. This, 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 because some of this ground's been moved. Yeah. There's a bit of a mixture. Uh, at least that's the neck. Yep, she's free. Oh no, it's not. It's, uh, oh, uh, Caleg. Kayleys, perhaps Kayleys. 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 Oh, nice, well done. Well, it's, it's got something on it, at least. Oh yeah, little Kayleys. I'm not sure what Kayleys is. No, but maybe something to weaken the cup. Yeah, a little lemonade or something like that. A little yeah, mineral water. Not that early though, is it? That with that font, I'd say. Well, also it's a crown top. Crown top, yeah. So yeah. If, you know, after the corks and box stoppers, they reverted to crowns. So. So where where are we with that then? Twenties. Oh really? Tw still could be as early as that. Yeah. Oh, there's more under here. Well, just dug this up. Just an innocuous little bottle, really, but still got its contents in and there's something weird inside it floating around uh, nice <laughs> here you go Sean I've got a challenge for you have a look at that and tell me what you think <laughs> That is rather peculiar, isn't it? It's like some sort of specimen. That, <laughs> that is odd. It looks like it should be behind the bar of a very dodgy... Uh, <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Mexican no? tavern. <laughs> why would... Oh. I reckon it's just the original contents that are solidified. Yeah, oh yeah, it's and just congealed. Water, but it does look like a little pickled penis or something. <laughs> <laughs> It's like a little, it's like a little liver. Yeah, you know we get it in biology labs. That's what it reminds me of. When I went to my school, they yeah. had. I remember going there for the visit, and seeing all the stuff that weirded me out. Oh, the lid's off. Bombs up. <laughs> Does it smell? No, oh, it smells like. Um, it smells quite nice, actually. It smells like a summer meadow. Here we go. I don't know if there's a smell or not. No, there ain't, is there? I think it's safe to drink. It's <laughs> good to me. Oh, you've got another oh, one no, there? No, hang on, it's not blank. I know it's it is blank. It's well, kids having a bit of a pot bonanza. Yeah. What are them? It's one of those ones with pan yan on it. Oh, yeah, pan yan. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> pan -yan. Wow, look at that. Could be a that's a pot. It's got a broken handle, perhaps. Yeah, there. but that's lovely. Look at the colours on there. I think that's the, either the handle, mm. the spout down there may be broken off, I'm not sure yet, but it's deep and hard. Do you want, do you want a trowel? Yeah, I think I might need to. Using Gander's trowel there. Spout may not be on it. Broken off perhaps. It's a teapot. No, oh, yeah, that's awesome. Oh, it's, oh, it's, it's actually metal. Oh, it is metal. Yeah, that's yeah. really cool. Psychedelic, baby. Yeah, cool colours. That is very cool. Huh? Oh, well. Mad things you find, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Good colours on it. Yeah. That's why I've got your trowel. So you get your out there. Never seen anything like that before. Nice. Enamelled, enamelled tin, isn't it? Enamelled, yeah, so. enamelled tin. Yeah. Yeah. Look it. So as you can see, toothbrush. That's pretty cool. It's like a kind of a pretend oyster, pretend tortoise shell. It's got on there a little maker's mark as well. Made in England. Made in England, pure bristle. <laughs> cool. It's quite cute, little decorated piece. Nice. Shows that there's um, housewares in here, not just industrial. 
This is what we like. Stuff from the houses are better. Get more cool finds that way. Look at that on the spade. How cool! Just flipped him out. That what a what a, what are the chances of that? Oh, he's lost an arm. Never mind. They've never they never complete. Nice. Uh, what do you call these? Grenad Grenad yeah. Grenadine. Yeah, look at that. We're happy with that. It's a chud. Maybe his arms in here as well. Possibly. Could get the pinpointer in there. See if his arms around. That's a good idea. Let's see if I can get his arm. So I was trying to find the little arm of the soldier, but there's so much iron and stuff in there. It's, it's going to be impossible. But I did actually find this, which I may have missed. Just digging, but um, I think it's a box for a razor or disposable razors. That's got to be a razor there, we think. And they would have come. Sean tells me that these used to come in little tins like this. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Need a shave. <laughs> well, I've had a nice little brown one up here. Look, still with the contents in it. Look, whoa. I might pierce the uh, cork and see what we're dealing with. Well, I've got the cork off. Let's have a little swig. Only joking. <laughs> no, let's have a little sniff. Oh, it doesn't smell of anything, sadly. Uh, probably just water. Although it's a bit milky. Oh, good old Vulcanite rubber stopper. Number 32. And it's uh, Stewart and Patterson's from Norwich. Oh, hopefully we'll find the full bottle, but yeah. It's a nice little stopper. Hopefully a sign of a bit more age. Stop, isn't it? Oh, it's just come out. Oh, cool. Well, that, that wouldn't have gone in there, would it? No. Unless someone's put it in there. Oh, lovely. <clears throat> Lost a bead. No, she's <laughs> <laughs> oh, she doesn't want to be filmed. I'll just film your hands in, alright? <laughs> right. Oh, so much. <laughs> so let's have a licky bead then. It's a big nightmare. Oh, that's cute. Isn't it? That's unusual. I know more about beads than I've never seen a bead like that before. Yeah, like a little triangular thing. Yeah. They might have a whole necklace thing? down there. Oh, weird. Oh, wow, cool. There's another bead there. Well spotted. Oh, I'm leaving it at the UK. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Cheers. I think I'm on the spade. I mean, the, oh, there is a lovely bit. There's your little stopper oh. and all. Oh, they're quite unusual, aren't they? Yeah. They're nice, those little bits. They're cute. They're like teeth. They're they little they shark's like teeth. teeth. Yeah, they do, don't they? they look a bit, yeah. Well, that was the last thing I thought I'd find today. Yeah, a nice little bottle coming up. It's like archaeology for the insane. <laughs> we actually had a brainwave and putting out this tarpaulin so that we can backfill easier later on. So I was just detecting the spoil before we uh, backfill and move on to the next little hole. And I'm glad I did because I just found out something really, really cool. Oh wow. Looks like a little gem in there. Yeah, a couple oh, of little weird. gems. Yeah. How strange How strange is that? A little mount of some description, or a bro brooch perhaps. Yeah, there's a little brooch. Not to find. <laughs> My precious! Size master of the small uh, That's a big find. huge diamond. Oh, it's a nice little cut stone though. Yeah. Isn't it? Pretty. Oh, a little beauty. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's a little stone there that might pop out if you're not yeah, careful. Yeah, I don't want to brush it. It looks yeah, like there's actually, it, there's, look, there's some, there's actual detail on, oh, wow. on it as well. Nice, isn't it? That's almost, beautiful. Almost put that back in the hole. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I would have done, because I wouldn't have seen it. Yeah, there's definitely some um, detail on the metal. That looks like new vans. Yeah. Hand, yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd say definitely more nouveau than, than deco, but maybe moving into deco. But yeah, this nice little. 
Lovely <laughs> little find. That's proper treasure. That is, mate. That is, we have to declare that. Wow. It's nice, isn't it? That is well done. stunning. That is yeah, it's nice, stunning. Nice, nice cut glass, isn't it? Pretty. Gotta love that. There you go, you can have it, it's yours. No! You have it, yeah. No, go on, you can have it. Stop running away, no. take the present. Go on, walk and do it, I'm a bloody bloke. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, nice. That's lovely. Yeah, so Kib's with us. He's, out, he's found a nice little spot under the tree. Good idea, man. Yeah, oh, yes, yeah, that, that salt one's lovely, isn't it? Look at that. Yeah. That's a beauty. That's really cool. Lucky and it's complete. Didn't, very lucky you didn't put the oh, through that. Yeah, I love that. That's awesome. Um, we should have the best stuff for this. Nice. Which is embossed, which is. Syrup. Yeah. It is. This is Winslow's syrup. I can't quite read it. It's embossed all the way around though. Curtis and Perkins, is that? Curtis and Perkins. Proprietors. Oh, Mrs. Mrs. Winslow's syrup. Yeah. Yeah, this is the old baby killer stuff, isn't it? Is what it is. Yeah, it was um it was the Anglo American drug company yeah they so they, they they use this stuff to help babies calm down oh, right. and it ended up killing a lot of them because it was full of some weird oh, right. I don't know ingredients that down the drug yeah, yeah. <clears throat> oh a little wink nice little wink that's a nice shape one isn't it there yeah it is I think it's quite modern yeah 20s or 30s maybe 40s yep nice shape though it's lovely Nice, yep. And then you even pulled up the kitchen sink. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Pick up the kitchen sink. <laughs> uh, what Look else have I got? Oh, yeah. Oh, I still always dust that called an escutcheon. Escutcheon plate, yeah. Escutcheon plate. How you doing and that? And a little buckle. A little buckle. Quite modern. Uh, what else have we got? That's about it, really. It's good going. That's what that is. Not sure that's a lid because it's got quite a magnify it. It's a lens, isn't it? Yeah, it's a lens. Maybe for a lantern or something. Yeah. Wicked, well done. The bone. <laughs> oh, well done, Kev. So, yeah. Keep going, dude. All day. What's that? Oh, that's off your lens, isn't it? That come off that? Mm, I don't know. It wasn't near it, I don't think. That was laying on top, that. Yeah, but look at that. That's an old bite lamp, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it is now you've said that. I think that lens is too small for it. Unless it's crushed in, I don't know, I might get a rubber around Look at that, it. yeah, that's pretty, I reckon that's, it's got to come from that though, isn't it? Yeah, maybe, could do. Is it a bike or a car lamp? Yeah, it could be, could be a really that's old, really cool. could be a really old bike lamp. I like that. Yep. Yeah, I reckon could you're right, we'd have had a bit of rubber around it or something, it's gone. Yeah. A little seal, that's nice. Yeah, I'll go along with that. <laughs> yeah, it's the only other embossed one, probably quite one. It, Johnson's. No rubbing. <laughs> Johnson's glow coat, no rubbing. I wonder what that means, no rubbing. I don't know. It's got a, it's a twist top though. Yeah, so. screw top, a bit later, but. Yeah. Yeah, I do love that though. That's, that's really cool. Yeah, if it does go with that, yeah. I think it has to. Yeah, hopefully. That'll, that'll clean up quite. That, that might even be brass. That might clean up quite yeah, nicely because you've got the iron there. Yeah, you can see the iron's got a kind of. No yeah. Into it, yes. And that there, that is a little maker's mark, look. Is it? Oh, look, see that there on top of it? Clean up a little bit. That's a pucker, that'll clean it really nicely. If you don't want it, I'll have it and upcycle up it, and make a little light out of it. Okay, I'll give it back to you. That's fine. Oh, yeah, that's got black paint on it. You can oh, see yeah. that, look. Actually, I'll leave that, that paint, leave that paint as it is. Nicely brass because you wouldn't have survived without long. That's yeah. nice brass, it's black paint. And yeah, you're right, that is on. Well, that's still not quite clean. But... Wicked. Maybe that was the side that was attached to the side of a bike or a yeah, car. Yeah, well, it might have been that way around. Bike. Yeah, it could be, yeah, it could be that way. A little light. Yeah. We'll be able to find out if it, if it was from a car or from a bike or whatever from that once we get that cleaned up. Stick around for the cleanup, guys. We'll do something with that, I think. That'll look really cool. Excellent. Happy days. Yeah. Somewhere behind that mound is Sean. 
<laughs> well look we're digging quite deep look I've got probably about two foot deep something like that and right at the bottom I just pulled out this little fella <laughs> How cool is that? Is that a little a little teacup, guys? Look. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that would have been a children's one, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. there you go. Oh. <laughs> well, just dug this one up. Again, it's a bit later, a bit of a screw top, but it's got on it world famed blood huh? mixture. Mm. You want a bit of blood mixture, Sean? Uh, no? uh, yeah, I'll have some later on with chips. Yeah? <laughs> You may not want it after it's been in the ground for 100 years, but it is world famed though, so it's good stuff. Oh, it's on the side as well. Oh, Clark's. Anything on this side? Oh, there's another ink. There we go. Lincoln. Pretty cool. Oh look! Oh wow! Fountain tip, fountain pen, guys. Cool. What's that hanging off there? <laughs> Is it one with a little clumpy bit on the side? That's got to be gold. If that's not yeah, gold, gold, that's not gold. I mean, the, the other ones there you go. Have a look, Gav. What do you reckon? It's Glenn. Glenn, sorry. What did you call him? Gav. <laughs> you called him Gav earlier. I'm just copying no, you, Sean. It does look gold, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, I mean, if that was any other metal, that long, yeah. it'd just be... Yeah, that'd I'm be... I was going to say a word, but I won't say it. That'd be, um... No, corroded. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm happy with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was a clay pipe, because I saw the edge there. Yeah, yeah. Is it actual gold? Yeah. Really? Yeah, be gold, yeah. It'll say oh, nine... look at that. It'll say nine it's carat on it or something. Gold nib. Oh, that's really Yeah, because we used to have them when we were kids, and they had a little lever. I remember that. And they went like yeah. that, and it sucked. So you oh, remember them like this, Glenn, probably, do you? <laughs> <laughs> this is your era, right? That's what I learned to write with. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, no, we did. We did too. We had... Uh... Well, I had nightmares, so I'm left-handed, so I used to smudge it all the time. <laughs> My mum was left-handed, and they tied her hand behind her back. Oh, really? Right, right, it's Pat Irish, wasn't it? It's a sign of the devil. Really? Yeah, at my mum's time. Wow. So if you were, were left-handed, they tied you... Hand behind your back yeah. and taught you to read, read right with your right, right hand. hand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I suppose it was a right handed world yeah. back then. People get yeah. whacked for writing with their left hand. <laughs> oh, cool, man. Cool. Happy with that. I'm going to show Kev. There you go. That's why I was always going to give up on that hole. There you go. There's gold in the hole. It's like, it's like I'm hole. digging a grave. That's the last thing we've got on the thing. I know. Yeah. Yeah. If there's gold here, mate, it's soil fight. <laughs> <laughs> I struck gold, Kev. Really? No, that's gold. <laughs> oh, pen. Nice, isn't it? Yeah. Price though, yeah. No, it's gold. They make gold libs, gold nibs. And look at the colour of it. No, seriously, seriously, it is gold. Yeah. You think I'm joking? <laughs> I don't think you're joking. Yeah. <laughs> no, seriously, I'll, I'll prove it later. I'll take it out of the thing, and it will say nine carat on the inside, probably. Really? Yeah. I mean, that is impressive. I thought nice, it was a joke. Well done, mate. <laughs> Cheers, dude. Yeah, it's falling apart a bit, but... It's a nice pen. I found the nibs before, but I don't think I found a gold one. Well, maybe I have. Oh wow, that's a beaut. Poisonous, not to be taken. You found aqua. that? That's yours, isn't it, Glenn? Yeah, he's just had that out of that one. Yeah. Nice. That's a lovely one. I'll be, I'll be happy with I'll that. I'll be happy with that, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, lovely. Yeah, that's nice, a nice display piece. It is, yeah, yeah it's cool. Yeah. Take it. No, Alright then. So you do yeah, collect bottles. Look oh, what you found. Oh, that's a stunner, isn't it? And the sun. Perfume, London. Oh, that's a stunner. Well done. Lovely. 
Oh, yeah, Crossmith and Son. Perfumer, London. Perfumers, London. Oh, and the stoppers are still. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, shame you can't see it. Sometimes you get a little whiff of um, perfume, oh, yeah. but I don't think there's any um, any whiff of that left. Right. Oh, look at that. 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 Look at is one of England's longest established perfume houses, founded in London in 1835 by John Grossmith. The family business developed into an influential, famous perfume house, manufacturing a wide range of perfumes, essential oils, fine soaps, face powders and luxurious body creams. The factory in Newgate Street got the nickname The Laboratory of Flowers. They are now an online business but also feature in high-end shops, such as Fortnum & Mason. And in 2006, they regenerated their classic designs and used century old formulas and old designs to replicate their golden era of perfume. What beautiful branding. I think it is, isn't it? Oh, cool. I think it is Native American, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it looks like it's yeah, yeah, it's a Oh, wow. Red Indian. No, you can't say Red Indian. No, I've been through that already. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't here. Native American. Oh, it's Native American. <laughs> Horse, <on> horseback. <laughs> Wicked. Great, isn't it? Cool find over here. Cool find. Oh, look at that. She's cute. She's a beautiful little face. <laughs> I just want to work out what it is. Whether it's a gondola or a cart or. It looks like it might be a sled for a Ooh. like a like a Christmas thing. Hmm. Yeah, she could be having. Or just like the sledding down the hill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's got her yeah. head leaned back against her bit, though. She's having a great old time. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely enjoying herself. Wicked. <laughs> well done. Are you going to get a little pottery out of your hole? Oh, and that cute little house. A <laughs> little cup. Probably a little child's tea set, I think. That probably goes along with a, a little piggy one. I oh, know, a good home for this. Sean, put it in your hole. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, Kev's just had a nice little thimble up. Always like a thimble. Oh, that's a nice one, isn't it? Yeah. Well, just by the depths, there is. Looks like a little blue bottle. That's pretty cool. Let's see if I can dig it out. Oh, there's two bottles there. Probably a little magnesium. God, it's stuck in there. Right, I'm gonna have to go from above. Back in a minute. Kev's little weather from perfume bottle. Sadly broken. Although he assures me it was definitely broken in the hole. And he did not break it. <laughs> so I've got a little challenge for you guys. Can you recognise the label on this bottle? I can't. If you know, comment below. Check it out. There we go, look. You see that? I think I can kind of make out an R E N. Ren or Irene or something like that and below that it's got what looks like something A P L E S If you know comment below Can you work that out? There we go a little screw top jobby so it's on the thirties or forties If you know comment below well, I've given it another little wash just to get the mud off. You can't touch these because it'll literally come straight off. Now, I'm just wondering what that, that word there is. Oh. S soap? S 
soapless, soapless. There you go, that might be a clue. Oh, is it shampoo? Might have done it myself. Anyway, if you can, if you, if you can work it out. Let's, uh, let's hear your, your suggestions. And now it's all gone. Look at that. That's why you should never rub the labels because it will just disintegrate. Well, Sean's had this. It's another little mystery object. I've had a quick Google, but I can't really find much about it. But as you can see, it's got the the Stroh Sire. It's funny. Corset. Uh, yeah. Anybody know what this is? If you know, comment below. I might, might be able to find something, but yeah, I'm intrigued. Requires no shields. Double side support. Steos, easily replaced. Steos. Six extra steels given in the box. We turn this over, look, it's still got a little bit of glass. Still got a little bit of glass there. And what, was, what was this? It's like very bendy rubber. If you know, comment below. Oh, there's just one here. I can see that there might be some some words on it. Look, what's that say? There we go. Oh, poisonous quality. Ah, oh, that's awesome. I never find ones like that. What do you know that, Sean? Oh wow! Yeah, that's cool. It's nice, poisonous. isn't it? Yeah. That's a nice little find, mate. Yeah, that's happy with that. Yeah, it's yeah. What does that say? It's green ink or twenties, <laughs> or, or is it the same? Well, as it's all as this is all thirties and you stuff. You it's all the same period. Possibly, yeah, yeah. Nice well, colour though, isn't it? I like yeah. that. Doctor Maca Maca Macarena? No, Mackenzie. Doctor Mackenzie. Oh, oh, smelling salts. Oh, it's I think. not ink. It's smelling salts. I think it's smelling. Yeah, it's got to be smelling salts. Smelling salts. Yeah. That's cool though. There you go. Yeah, if, you, if, cool. if you feel a bit faint, you can smell that and feel better. Ah. <laughs> oh look, Charles had this up. That's lovely, man. A little eye ointment. That's in perfect nick as well, isn't it? Yep. Singleton's eye ointment. Beautiful. Yeah. That's got a little maker's mark. Oh, Dalton Lambeth on the bottom as oh, well. Cool. Lovely. Beautiful. Yeah, that is. So they would have just had it in there and yep. and they just dabbed it off. That's right. Yeah, a tiny yeah. little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well done, man. Well done. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> this small pedestal would have contained a thin layer of eye ointment with a wax paper seal to preserve it. These were then distributed by the manufacturers in these lovely cardboard boxes. Oh, oh wow, there. look at those. Look at those lovely little beads. How many have you got? 23. <laughs> they're, all, they're all like little teeth shaped, aren't they? Yeah. Toy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got the head of the horse as well. That's really cool. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, how cool is that? Hmm. Well done. Well, we've had a great day, look, we're just tidying up, filling our holes in, and uh, now I'm going to go back and do something really cool with Kev's wonderful little bike lamp. Do some research on that and hopefully upcycle it. Let's go back. Well, my lovers, here we are. I'm giving it a nice little clean. I'm going to keep this bit here with all the lovely original paint on it, and I've just used some wire wall just to rub this bit here, and it shows the beautiful brass uh, coming through there so nice um, mixture of textures and uh, what's really cool is um, not only are these little brass rivets there um, really shown up but the actual badge has cleaned up really well look. and you can see there it says King of the Road Lucas the Lucas brand was created by Joseph Lucas from Birmingham England he started making oil lamps for ships and then went on to manufacture lighting systems for bicycles. Lucas started selling oil lamps for penny farthings in 1878. The King of the Road lamp was the leading lighting brand of the day. And they continued to make car and bicycle lamps and other accessories throughout the 20th century. 
and the name continues to be used on lights and light bulbs today, after it merged with an American company to form Lucas Verity. So there we have it. What a lovely, lovely example of a lovely bicycle lamp. So um, what I'm going to do, got the hole there already. I've tried to clean it inside as much as I can, but don't need to worry too much. Got my lens here. That's really um, cleaned up well. Look, and you can see how it magnifies things. So it would have helped to magnify the light. And this fits in there quite nicely, actually. It just clips in. So uh, not a lot needed to do there. So as I said, I was going to make this into a working lamp. So I've been online and I've bought this chap here. Which is a bit of a de excuse me, a bit of a desk lamp. And it's uh, something which I can hopefully take apart and uh, reuse inside the bicycle lamp. And I've got an idea for the base as well. So let's get cracking. Let's get upcycling this old bicycle lamp using a little bit of technology there. They're ready made. I'm not an electrician, so um, I didn't want to start doing it all from scratch. But have a look at the measurements and stuff. I'm pretty sure that this is going to fit in really well. Let's give it a go. So I want to take off this little grabby thing that is designed to grip onto the edge of a desk or what have you. Um, try and unscrew that, but that's absolutely solid. I don't know how or why. Maybe it's cross-threaded or something, I don't know, but it's just not un unscrewing. So I've just ground out this little bolt here. So hopefully this might come out quite easily. He says, hopefully. You just need to push that bolt out a little bit or pull that bolt out here. Yep, that's off. And so we'll try and unscrew that, see if we can get it out. Well, with a bit of force, it can now come out. And uh, so this just unscrews. Great. And it's quite cool, because this is like a little bendy one, so it bends into shape, whatever shape you want to put it in. It's pretty cool. LED and it comes with a little switch as well and to turn it on and off. So I'm going to have to remove this switch which involves a bit of soldering and unsoldering um, in order for this to be fed through my base which is a ginger beer bottle that I found recently. If you haven't seen uh, my recent videos where I found this and some other amazing finds go check it out. The link will be at the end of the video. Um, this is a lovely uh, example of a ginger beer. Got a box right there so that will go in there and the cable come out somewhere here, I have to drill a hole. Um, it's not the rarest of beasts, so it doesn't really matter that I'm gonna make it into a lamp. <laughs> um, if it was super rare, I wouldn't dare do that, but as it's a common maker, um, there's no real loss. As it'll be in my personal collection, I'm happy for it to be used as a lamp. Right, so now we just need to take off this. Should be okay to just unsolder in it and solder it back on. Off. So as you can see, the LED lamp is now inside the lamp. Just want to glue that in place and then get the base ready. Let that dry. Well, I threaded a piece of wire up inside and so that comes out at the top and hopefully I can then take that successfully and pull that through and that's obviously the rest of the, the light. I don't know if this will work but we'll see what happens. Yeah, there you go. Hey, it's easier than I thought. It's funny sometimes when you do this the, the easy things are hard and the harder things are easy. Trying to get that 
clamp off was extremely hard and I thought that was going to be easy and threading this through I thought it was going to be hard in fact it was quite easy I bet the soldering is going to be a bit hard probably won't film that because it's going to be very fiddly and I don't want to burn my fingers so let's jump straight to the uh, fitting stage So everyone, this is the mysterious, wonderful Wendy, as you now have become called, because <laughs> you make some beautiful jewellery and uh, with the help of my garnets, you create some fantastic pieces. So if you wanted to know what Wendy looks like, this is Wendy. Say hello, Wendy. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's a marvellous jeweller. Are you self-trained or did you have, to, did you have well, some no, courses? Well, no, I took stuff? some courses, yeah. I had yeah. a garden and oh, other places. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So um, yeah, it's really good. Anything she sells, a, um, a, a part of that goes to charity as well. So if you do buy anything from Wendy, um, it's going to local charities around um, East London area, as far as I remember. Yeah. Some um, yeah. So uh, you know, it's all good. And um, I've just I've just found something really cool, which is right up Wendy Street. So let's show her and see what she thinks. Well, you'll have to wait and see what stunning objects I found. So make sure you subscribe and tap that notification bell so that you do not miss a thing. I should mention that Wendy is also a permit holder, which you have to have by law if you plan on searching the Thames foreshore. So we got busy finding garnets and a few pins for her jewellery projects, but another reason for meeting with her was to give her my modern gold chain that I recently found. And she has expertly taken it apart to make individual gold pendant necklaces. And we have one to give away. So all you have to do to be in with the chance of winning this amazing prize is to share your favorite Sci-Fi's Mudlarkin video. And you can do that by pressing the little share button down there and sharing it onto any of your social media, copy the link and paste it, or if you haven't got social media, tell a few friends for me because the word gets out and then the channel can grow and I really appreciate your support. Once you've done that, come back here Look at the comments below and then write your own comment with the hashtag shared. So that's hashtag shared, telling me that you shared the video. Wendy has also made a few more of these pendants that are available to buy on her folksy store. The link is in the video description below. So why not check out her website and maybe consider getting a unique Christmas present sorted early this year. She also does commissions, so the possibilities are endless. So get sharing and then get commenting and then we'll do the draw in a few weeks time. And good luck. So thanks so much for watching Mud Lovers and if you haven't done so already I'd love you to subscribe and like and I'll see you on the next Mud Adventure!